Hello everybody. Well, I've been gone for a couple weeks. A little bit on the sick list. Yeah. Had a little, uh, caught a little bit of that respiratory uh, illness that uh, they say is the uh, back of the COVID, whatever. But uh, I do believe at the time I thought, you know, it was really bad. But uh, when I've read about other people that have come down with it and had to be hospitalized, then I didn't feel so bad about it. And I thought, well, I'm doing pretty good now. I'm getting back on my feet. So everything looks pretty good. I feel pretty good. I get a little bit tired awful quick. But uh, once in a while I have a little trouble when I first get up in the morning uh, for breathing. But um, I just relax for a while. And uh, I guess you say it kind of wears off. I don't know <laughs> anything else to say, but uh, I'm glad to be back. I don't know how many videos I'll be doing a day uh, for a while. I'm still going to rest. And doctor said, don't rush anything because it will come back. And that part I didn't like to hear. Because really, I really don't want it back again. Because I have congestive heart failure. And you can't decipher with the, the hardness of breathing whether it is your heart or whether it's just this respiratory uh, virus that's getting everybody down. So, just, I don't know. Just be careful. And I still wear a mask. I went to the doctor, and of course I wear a mask, and um, my tests come back perfect. There was nothing out of the ordinary, he said. So he said, just stay home, take your uh, cough medicine. And um, I got what they called Tussin. It's a left arm, I would say, of Robitussin. But um, it did work. Yes, it did. It took two or three days. But uh, he said it takes about six weeks to really, really get over it if it don't hit you back. So, I got to be a little bit careful. Okay, this is test run on this video, just to make sure everything works on this computer. Because I have changed computers from my new um, HP that I got all in one. And it is so messed up. They cannot tell me I bought a brand new computer. Well, my grandson is a licensed uh, computer uh, analyst and um, it's going to go out to him and he's going to go through it then he will uh, write what he suspects and then I'm going to send it back to Finger Hut and I'm not paying for it so they can do what they want but I can't see paying for a dead horse and it don't work so I had to get out the old HP which had went down on me and this is a tower and I, I have a monitor that I bought uh, to go with it. And um, I gave it a good clean out. I took off the door. And I got in there with my hair dryer and put it on low and stood back. And I don't think anybody had ever cleaned that HP tower out. I mean, I had dust all over my bathroom. Because I did it in my bathroom because... My um, dryer cord wasn't long enough to reach out here in my living room. And uh, so I did it in the bathroom and it took me about an hour and a half to clean up my bathroom when I was done cleaning out the computer. But when I got it all set up, turned it on, she's running beautifully. But I am on a senior program with CenturyLink. $35 a month. Okay. Well, they're knocking down the speed of my computer. Mm-hmm. So I have to keep restarting it. I'll get in the middle of a program, something I want to do, games I play, card games, and uh, I have to keep restarting it because there's not enough oomph to keep it going. Thank you, CenturyLink. Well, senior citizens... On $35 a month programs, we don't pay them enough. So we're the ones that get hacked. 
That's okay. Whatever. Story. It's no new story, is it? No. I'll be back. Bye.